Hey everyone, it's Anthony Avina. Welcome to day 112, I believe. It is April 22nd, 2014. Um, welcome. Um, no new uh, stat updates today. Um, nothing new on Mandy either. For those of you guys who have been watching, um, she seems like she may be doing better, but it's just hard to tell right now if it's... Uh, really her doing better if it's just wishful thinking on our parts um so we'll see what happens um, i thought today instead of doing a tag video um i'd do some um you know what's going on in the world today um i'm not going to talk about you know what's going on in north korea or what your political stance is that's not what my channel's about um I'm just going to talk about some things I've seen, um, stuff I want to talk about. I'm going to try and do this um, at least once a week, if not more, um, just so that, you know, this is more of, you know, a heart-to-heart, -heart, you know, talking about the issue type of stuff um, when there's no new stats or tags or fun stuff going on, you know. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about, um, something I want to talk about last week that the file got corrupted on my video, um, was body image. Um, I saw a lot of YouTubers um, talking about body image, and even though I'm not, you know, obviously a beauty guru or anything like that, um, and obviously I'm kind of a big guy, <laughs> um, I still want to talk about body image, um, and I'm not going to go into detail like I did in the last video because I don't want something to happen to this file either. Um, I don't want it to get corrupted. But uh, my main stance on it um, is to accept yourself. You know, um, I don't care if you are like a twig of a person or like super huge like me. Um, accept who you are. Be happy with who you are. Um, get healthy for health's sake, you know, take care of yourself. Um, that's always good, but don't stress about looking a certain way because of society standards. Um, as long as you're healthy, um, be proud of who you are. You know, man, woman, you know, doesn't matter. We all um, face a certain standard set by, um, well, everyone likes to say Hollywood, but it's pretty, it's everyone. Everyone has a certain image that people think you want you need to maintain like I'm never gonna be well, you know Ryan Gosling I may lose some weight and it'd be healthy but I'll never be as you know ripped as him um, and I'm fine with that I'm happy I look I like the way I look I got crud on my chin right here and I'm still making videos you know doesn't matter to me um, except who you are you know um, and then by accepting yourself for who you are, learn to accept others for who they are, you know, um, people have this misconception that only, you know, skinny people date skinny people, big people date big people, you know, um, it's all about finding someone you're compatible with, someone you care about, um, I think attraction for me it's not all physical attraction mostly for me is a person's personality um, if that special girl ever comes along I expect to have a lot in common with her um, I expect our personalities to just really click um, and when all those things come together um, I won't matter what anyone else thinks she looks like she'll be beautiful to me no matter what size she is, whatever she looks like, she'll be perfect to me, you know, and that's the way it should be for anyone looking for not just love either, it's not just about love, it's about love, friendship, family, um, just being a good person overall and accepting people for who they are, so that's my body image stance, accept yourself and then accept everyone else for who they are, you know, unless they're a murderer or something, then don't do that. But regular average people accept them for who they are. Um, 
Which leads me into my next topic I'm going to talk about, something I've seen a really big increase on. Um, in the last, well, I mean, this has been steadily increasing for years, but something I've noticed a lot in the news lately is uh, bullying. Um, there have been a couple cases, um, one local to me um, in Southern California where this kid is uh, eight years old and he's been verbally and physically abused by bullies for a while now and his mother has been livid about it and she finally went to the principal and to the school to complain pretty loudly because um, her son had been cornered in a bathroom and peed on physically by bullies. It's ridiculous. And when the mother got down there and the principal heard that she was down there to talk to him, he left the school. And his secretary proceeded to tell the mom that the kid, um, that she dealt with the situation and didn't feel that she needed to contact the mom um, when the incident happened because the kid's socks weren't wet the kids feet and socks didn't get wet so it was fine that's incident number one um, BS I call bullshit but whatever um, incident number two happened somewhere in the Pennsylvania Philadelphia area somewhere near Philadelphia this kid um, with a learning disability um, was getting you know physically and verbally abused by you know classmates um, just real you know filth I call them just putting him down screaming in his ear um, slamming stuff either in front of him or on him um, just doing some pretty bad damage um, the kid went to his um, teachers his advisors his counselors his you know principal everyone no one would listen um, this kid couldn't get any sort of proof that these guys were doing it, even though well okay well okay so to get physical proof to get like hard evidence this kid took his school appointed iPad the school iPad his school gave him mind you um, to help with his learning disability and he was able to record um, one of the incidents of him being bullied um, this kid you could hear in the audio um, a book being slammed loudly in his desk um, someone called him a uh, very nasty word that even I don't feel comfortable using uh, it's, it starts with a C for those of you who can get it um, and all this and the teacher hears all this um, and the teacher's only response is if it has nothing to do with uh, the quotes being taught in the class don't say it it's not um, he didn't write the kids up didn't send them to you know detention principal's office expel them anything like that um, so the kid took the recording to his mom mom was furious um, and she went and took the recording to the principal instead of dealing with the bullies like a sane person would do the principal contacted the police on the kid who was being bullied the victim in all this and the police charged him with uh, um, illegal tapping or something wiretapping or something um, they dropped it down to something of a lesser charge but it was still he went to court for it and the judge in the case even found him guilty so despite years of being tortured um, physically and emotionally mentally um, this kid finally gets the proof that he needs to prove that this has been going on and instead of helping him the, they turn him into the police and he gets in trouble and so now him and his mom are fighting the court uh, the court's decision about all this um, the reason I'm talking about this today is that it just sickens me um, sickens me that this is the state of our school system um, honestly I've felt this way for a long time 
Um, I'm not going to get into my whole stance on school, but um, I feel this for a long time, and this just this stuff recently is like confirming. I don't want my kids in public school at all. Not only is it getting more dangerous, um, kids are just more vicious nowadays, you know, and they're adapting the same behavior that their parents are are adapt have adapted to, and that's the attitude that you know people just don't give a shit anymore, and it's sickening. Um, I definitely am going to pro you know homeschool my kids. I think um, when I have kids someday, um, it's disgusting. Um, what kids have to endure from, you know, their kids nowadays. Um, you know, I've seen for a while that, you know, maybe kids are being more tolerant of each other, but it just seems like in the recent years, um, things have gotten worse for kids and kids, you know, the kids who are bullying, um, are just more brutal and vicious, um, more so than when I was in school. That's for sure. Um, and it just baffles my mind, not only are these kids doing it, but at least to a certain extent, you can say, you know, they're kids, they're idiots, and maybe someday they'll adjust and become better people than they are. Probably not, but some people might. Some of these kids might. But what the hell is wrong with the teachers and the adults, you know? Um, since when do does our school system get so flawed that a teacher won't step in to defend a helpless student? Um, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I want to feel comfortable with my kids in public school. Not only because of these bullies, but because they have no one supporting them there. I mean, we can't even get physical evidence to prove it anymore without it being considered a crime now. I mean, it's the whole thing is just ridiculous to me. Um, so I just wanted to kind of make this video because to kind of create an awareness of the way things are going. Um, I first heard that story about the kid who was being bullied with a learning disability um, in Pennsylvania from a YouTuber called Alpha Omega Sin, I believe his name is. Um, you can search his name. He does mostly gaming stuff, gaming video kind of stuff, like news, but... Yeah, it's really sick and disturbing. Um, very shocked at the way things are going in our world, and um, I wish we didn't have to live in a kind of a school system. Um, definitely going to do things differently with my kids, that's for sure. So, anyways, that's what I had on my mind today. Thank you guys for listening and watching up to this point. I appreciate it. Um, Tomorrow I will try and do a tag video. Um, in the comments below, tell me if you've ever had to deal with bullying, and if so, um, how did you overcome it? Um, leave those comments down below. Um, that's it, guys. Uh, no more news or anything. Thank you for watching. Check out all my social networking links down below: Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr. Um, Amazon author page where all my books can be located, um, the Edge of Sanity podcast uh, for Podomatic, and it's also available on iTunes. My podcast is called Edge of Sanity. I just put a new episode up on there. Um, my Honor Class Magazine YouTube channel, and then the Rare YouTube channel. The Rare is the band that I work for, so check them out as well. And uh, please like this video, comment on it, favorite it, and share it with everyone you can. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. This is Anthony Avina. Signing off. Peace out, guys.